Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this ClickSense tutorial video we will going to look at the set, set date year and set date year month function. So set date year function returns a timestamp based on the input timestamp but with the year replaced with the year that we are specifying. So what I mean by that, let's see by example, I know it is confusing. So over here, um, I'm taking a text and image and uh, over here, I'm adding this measure in the expression editor and I'm saying set date year. And within that, let's say I specify the, the date, let's say 20.03.2020, okay, and uh, I specify 20 one the next year information and if i click apply all right let me just see if i make this is fine so i guess the issue is over here this mmdd yy let me click apply and now the output is uh, 21 as per the year that we specify it so whenever we have such requirement that we want to set the year for the date, we can simply use this function which is set, uh, set date year, right? Now the set date year month returns a timestamp based on the input timestamp, but with the year replaced with the new year and the month with the new month. So it's pretty straightforward as you could see. So um, what I can do is simply go into the expression editor and to demonstrate this set date year month okay and now 0 3 20 that means 20th March 2020 and I want to change the year to 2021 and month to 1 so the new date will be the fun first of 2020 first of 20 of 2021 so click apply all right i need uh, chr10 chr10 sorry in bracket 10 and i'm percent to come to a new line and we changed this to this this is the previous one however the same day but uh, now the new date is based on the new year and new month information that we have added so that's very quickly about the set date year and set date year month function which helps you do the relevant operation as per the name so now i'll meet you in the new video the new topic